हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू दी टारगेट कॉमन यूट्यूब चैनल आई एम अमोद इन द लास्ट वीडियो ऑफ रिसोड ए पी ऑटोमेशन फ्रेमवर्क एंड टू एंड आई क्रिएटेड ए मेवन प्रोजेक्ट एंड इन दिस प्रोजेक्ट आई हैव एडेड ऑल द डिपेंडेंसीज रिक्वायर्ड फॉर माय फ्रेमवर्क सो इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू कनेक्ट दिस रिपोजिट्री टू ए किट रिपोजिट्री सो डैट यू पीपल कैन ऑल्सो गेट द कोड After each session or after each video, so there are so many advantages of Git. Like, uh, if you are not aware of Git, so I will suggest you to go and watch some basic videos on that. I started one YouTube playlist on Git, but unfortunately, I was not able to continue. But I will continue uh, later for sure. But as of now, you should aware some basics of Git. i will simply say that git is something where you can have the history of your code how your code is changing day by day so there are all together so many advantages of using git so in this video i am going to push my changes or push my framework code which is present locally in my intellij to a git repo which will be cloud based so that you people can also clone the code clone this framework I have already created two videos. In first video, I have explained how to push project from IntelliJ IDEA to a Git remote repository. And second video, how can we clone a project to local or uh, in IntelliJ? So first thing I am going to do now. And when this project is available on Git, then you people can clone it so that you can see the code. You can practice the code. i'll give the links of both the videos in description so before we push our framework to any cloud based git repository like bitbucket gitlab or github first thing you need to make sure that you have a github profile if you want to use github or if you want to use bitbucket or if you want to use gitlab then you need to create a profile there it's free you can go and register yourself so where suppose if you want to use github so we'll get the profile like this you can go to repositories this is my profile and uh, let me click on new so here i will give the name of my repository so maybe i can give the same name so let me go here and copy the project name i want to create this as a public repo so that you people can access the code and you can clone as well if i do private this will be visible only to me and i am not going to add any readme file or git igno file as of now i will simply click on create repository so only one thing two steps give the repository name and selecting it as a public let me click on create repository okay so here i have the git repo now second step what we need to do you need to go to your intellij where you have created the project you do click on vcs you see option called enable version control integration click on it then it will ask you which version control system you want to use so i want to use git there are other things also like mercurial and some version other things but i am using git okay git is the latest so click on okay as soon as you do it you can see at uh, left hand side you see uh, this git icon as well okay so there are so many usage of this i will show you later but you see this option if you see this option that means you have or you have successfully enabled the integration okay and earlier it was coming vcs that has been replaced by git okay now you need to right click or go to git option from here also you can go or from there or from this here also you can go so whatever you feel is you can use okay then even you can see some options here as well which i will show you in up upcoming videos but as of now let's go very simple way simply right click on your project go to git and select commit directory okay so we will not have we don't have so many files as of now but let me expand it and you can see these files are here like uh, if you notice one thing here let me show you something if you expand the project section you see the src and under src we have main and test but these all are packages empty that's why when you do right click git and commit directory you will not see those folders 
so that is the property of git here if those folders are empty it will not be shown here as a changes to be committed or those are not ready to push to your git repo that's why you don't see those folder options so let it be no worry about that if you don't want to uh, we have ch made the change only in the pom.xml so let me select this pom.xml only one file and let me commit it okay before that i need to give message so i will simply write added dependencies for framework and better i will write added initial dependencies okay and let me commit it so you can see pom.xml is not here because that we have committed that is version that's why it is not showing under the unversion file okay now just minimize this one again open the project section and go here right click go to git and do push because we have already committed and now we to push our changes to our git repo which is present in github okay so as soon as you click on push first time you see here define remote because we have already created one repo here which is available on github and we are trying to push this project from intellij to that that repo but this project doesn't know where to go that's why it is asking you to define remote so you need to click on define remote you see the name origin you can go here and copy this url this will be your git repo url copy this one this much okay go to url paste it here click on okay okay you can see if it exists it is giving you like which file will be going to that repo it's saying that only pom.xml will go so let me click on push so if you are doing first time so it may ask you some password which will be github password you need to give i have already used multiple time that's why it's not asking me password but if you are using first time then you will, it will ask you to enter the credential which will be your github credentials if i go to my github and refresh this page then you will see that my pom.xml is here right so whatever dependencies i have added those are here other things like other folders are not here why because we don't have any file in that those folders are empty those packages are empty that's why we don't see anything here so i have successfully published my code from my intellij idea to my github repo so whenever i am going to add a new class new files anything i will i need to commit and i need to push back to my github so that you people can access the code so again i have not explained all the concept of git here like git init git commit git push because those concept i have already covered in different video and i will advise you please go and watch that video if you are not aware of git concepts if you have any doubt please comment on this video if you really like my videos please like comment subscribe and share with others thank you everyone